Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to build a chatbot using Chainlet, Langchain, and OpenAI. All right, so this application enables you to upload a PDF document and you're able to ask questions with the PDF. All right, so in the previous videos, we used that using Streamlet, um, but the Chainlet also provides a friendly user interface that helps you to um, interact with your PDF. All right, so let me walk you through how this works. So you're gonna browse or um, let me just grab a PDF, I'm gonna drag it, All right? And it's processing. All right, so it says you can now ask a question. So I'm gonna say, what is the comment about? And it's going through the chain using the retrieval keyway with sources chain. All right, and it gives you the um the date, the information that we just asked. Okay, it also gives the sources of where the information is. So you can click on the first source. Okay, it gives you where to find that information. Okay. And also gives you the second, third. Okay, so I'm going to ask another question, okay? What did the CEO see? CEO Okay, all right, so this is pretty doing great. Okay, it also gives you the sources of whatever information that you will put in here. And it looks like a great source to um, interact with your PDF, okay? All right, so I'm gonna walk you through how this works. So this has a pretty user interface where you can also go in here, go to your settings, you can expand, expand it, you can hide the chain if you don't want to see the chain. Okay, you can choose a dark mode or light mode. Okay, all right, all right, let's go into the code and the readme is whatever you want to be appeared here. You can do that. Okay, I'm going to walk you through how this was created. All right, all right, so I'm going to um attach the file to for my github so you can grab the code okay all right so in the vs code setup you can see the environment here okay so before you do any project it is very efficient that you create an environment for that project only that helps you to share the um the document to colleagues and they can also install everything okay and it means that everything that you install will be kept in the environment all right and so this is where we're going to run the application okay and it contains the code i'm going to walk you through that but before we do that we need to install the requirements okay all right so before you start, you need to install. Okay, I'm going to show you how you can um, create an environment, right? So you can go to your, do that, show you real quick. I've done that already, but I'm going to show you that. You can do Python, um, EMV, I'm going to say EMV. And when you hit enter, it's going to create the environment. For some reason, you need to restart the terminal again to see the environment like you've seen here. Okay. All right. And then <laughs> install the requirements. We're going to need launch chain, command DB, 
for the vector store tick token to take care of the tokens that I use the chainlet, the UI, the OpenAI, and the Pi PDF2 for the PDF interactions. And I'm going to go to the so, all right, so I'm going to sh briefly show you how this works, okay? So I'm going to walk you through how this works graphically. Okay, so this stage is called injection phase, where we get the PDF files and it's uploaded. So we're going to extract the, the data from the PDF files, we're going to split them into chunks. And we create chunks for each of the text. Um, we create chunks, okay? And we create embeddings for each of the chunks. So embedding is nothing but the representation of the text in numbers, okay? So after that, we are going to build a knowledge base. So we build a semantic index and get the knowledge base. So that is where we keep the, that's the doc search. So that's where we keep the, um, the text and the embeddings, okay? And so that when the user enters any question, it goes through the embedding, like the representation of the text and numbers, and it creates a semantic search. It means that it creates an understanding for the intent behind the query and represent the uh, knowledge in a way that is suitable for retrieval and meaningful for retrieval. So when at, that, at this point it gets into the knowledge base, then it picks up the um, so at this point, that's where we find the relevant docs based on the similarities and we get the information from the original question. Okay, so it's able to retrieve that here at the knowledge base and it's ranked the results and gets into the um, LLM models and we are going to get the answer from here. Okay, all right, it's pretty, pretty simple. Okay, so I'm going to go through the code Okay, so we're gonna need the line chain embedding. Okay, so we're gonna import the open AI to create the embeddings. We're gonna create this, um, import the recursive character text splitter to split the text, the chroma for the um, vector stores to store the, um, the embeddings and the text, okay? And we're going to do the retrieval keyway with sources chain. I was going to create a chain for the retrieval of the question and answers. And we're going to do the chat opening AI. That is the chat model that we're going to use. Okay. And we are going to, so at this point, you can choose to do the, the other open source, like the hanging face. And we are going to do the, the dot EMV is where we are going to load the the API key, okay? So we're gonna import the load.amv. And of course, we're gonna need the, the prompt chat that is gonna do the, the prompt te template, all right? So we're gonna create the prompt template. We're gonna need the system prompt template and the human. And also gonna need the OS, okay? The chainlet, we're gonna call it CL the Pi PDF2, I'm going to need the, the Bytes IO, right? I'm going to show you why we need that here for a second. All right, so we're going to load the, so we can do the load to TMV and we're going to load the open API key, all right? So when you create an environment like this one, when you create dot EMV, that is where you, you have your API key stored, okay? So when you do any projects, you can just implement that into your work, okay? In order to, especially when you have to work with the GitHub, right? So I have it stay here, okay? All right, and so we're gonna split the text, all right? The first stage, we split the text and create chunks. So at this point, split the text here and we create a chunks, right? And the chunks here is a thousand and there's overlap of hundred, okay? All right, so you can decide to choose any overlap size that you 
want based on your use cases. So we create the system template and we say, so whatever um, information you put in the system template is very sensitive to the outcome in a way that you want the, um, you want the chain to behave, okay? So in this case, I use the use the flowing pieces of context to answer the user's question. Okay. Uh, let me put this down a little. If you don't know the answer, just say you don't know. Don't try to make an answer. All right. You say you always return the sources part in your answer. Okay. So the sources part should be reference to the source of the document from which you got an answer. All right, example of a response. Okay. I'm just going to say begin. Okay. I'm going to clear this out. Okay. All right. And this code, right? So this code creates the um, the messages that we are going to feed into into the prompt. Okay, so we have the systems message prompt template, which is going to hold the systems template, the one we we put here. Okay, systems template. We are going to put that into this for the system, and we are going to put the human message prompt template. Okay, and we're going to see the question. So the user is going to input the question as the human, and we pass on the, the system template to the system message prompt template. Okay, and we're going to assign that to a variable called the prompt, and the chat prompt template is going to hold these messages. So it's going to be interaction between the system and the human, okay, based on the system template. All right, so at this point, we create, at this point, we create two decorators for this process. So the first one is the Lang Chain Factory decorator, which is going to tell the chainlet on how to get the Lang Chain agent. And then at the, and then we're going to use the, the Lang Chain post process, we takes the raw response from the agent as well as the text element. All right. And it's able to add the relevant sources to the final answer and then send the sources to the UI. All right. Basically, that's what these the two decorators are going to do. So the first one here is we load the files. Okay. We load the files and we're going to use the um, this code here. So wait for the user to upload the file. So while the file is not, we're going to upload the PDF file to begin and the accept is the, the PDF. Okay. And we're going to do create a message. It's right processing. Okay. And the next one is to read the PDF file. Okay, so we here, we create a byte IO, which is nothing but um, a file-like object that's gonna hold the content of the PDF file, okay? And we are gonna pass that, the PDF stream to the reader. It's gonna read it, call the PDF. I'm gonna create a text and gonna iterate through that and append it to the PDF text. I'm going to split the text into chunks that we see here. Okay. And so at this stage, you split into chunks right here. Okay. And we're going to create the metadata for each chunk. So for each chunk, we want to create a metadata. Okay. And we're going to create the Chroma vector store. So at this point, we get here, we create embeddings using the Chroma vector store. Okay. 
All right. And we create a doc search. Okay, so the right. So the doc search is gonna be the text embeddings and the metadata. So it's gonna hold these three elements. Okay. And we create a chain that uses the that uses the vector store. Right. So this is where we create a chain. All right, and we're going to pass in the the chat to PAI. We set the temperature to zero. All right, and use the chain type. And we save the metadata text for each of the user sections. And we all right, and it gives the information you process. You can now ask the questions right here. All right. All right, and this stage here, it takes the raw response, the long chain process here, it takes the raw response from the agent as well as the text, okay? And it's going to, um, here we create an answer, okay? And we're gonna get the metadata and text from the user section as well, as well as the sources. Right, and add the sources to the messages. Okay, when it, and it's place them as well as get the indexes of the sources. Right, create the text element to reference the messages. Okay, and then I'll paste the text and the source name to the source element. And if source is found, we are going to join them. Okay. And we are going to get the message, We're going to get the answer. All right, basically that's how it works. So you can just run it by using chainlet. Run app, the name of the app, the pie. And the flag here makes it it automatically if you have to change anything in the code okay it's pretty awesome all right all right we get this interface again all right so this is how it works it's pretty pretty awesome all right so if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe and share See you in the next one.